Hi there, welcome to my channel, Active Mama. My name is Emma. Thank you so much for clicking on uh, one of my videos today. I'm really happy to be able to support you through a lovely stretch session today. So we're gonna stretch through the body, um, get some mobility through our joints, and then we will close the session with a nice guided relaxation. So it's suitable if you're pregnant um, in your postnatal period, but also again, for anybody who you think might benefit from the workout, please do share if you uh, enjoy it today. So all you need is some space, maybe a mat, something comfortable to wear. Do have a drink ready, we will get a little bit of heat through the body, so you might just find that you need um, a sip of water at some point. Um, yeah, get yourself comfortable and let's begin. Okay, so we're going to begin the session uh, by checking in on our breath. We're going to take in three lovely deep breaths and incorporate a full body stretch with that. So if we stand with our feet sort of hip width um, apart, a nice foundation. From the outset, we're going to zip up through our core muscles. So if you're unsure what that means, either imagine a belt round your waist, sort of tightened to full notch, then released a couple of notches, or a little corset that's not been tightened to its full, but just um, some tension there going through your abdominals. So you've got some engagement there, our shoulders are relaxed. So taking our arms to our sides, we're gonna breathe in. Take the arms up and overhead, and then exhale. Good, again, breathing in. And exhale. One more time, a big breath in. And exhale. Good. So we're going to look to get some mobility through some of our major joints today. So we're going to work through some spinal mobility to begin with. So I want to, you to imagine that your pelvis, um, like headlights of a car, we've got our two pelvic bones here, which we want to keep facing forward. So if you're pregnant, just go easy on this full uh, spinal rotation, just take it very slightly round. But for the rest of us, we're going to look to keep our pelvis facing forward, have our arms stacked one on top of the other, and then rotate round, keeping those pelvic bones facing the front. Feel that lovely spinal twist. Good, then coming back through centre and going the other way. So we're standing tall. Our shoulders are relaxed and we're just moving round, feeling that lovely twist through the spine. Good. Going again. Good. One more each way. Good job, last one. And back through centre. Good, and shake those arms away. Good, we're gonna do some roll downs now. So we're gonna stand, feet facing forward. We're gonna roll down, try and keeping our hamstrings nice and straight so we get a little bit of a stretch through our hamstrings as well. So we're gonna roll, coming down. Lovely, letting the arms, the shoulders release. Good, so you should feel a nice stretch up through the backs of the legs. By coming into this posture, we're releasing the hips, each of the vertebrae, allowing a little bit of space between those. So when you're here, just allow the upper body to hang. Slow your breathing. Breathing deeply in and exhaling out. Good, breathing in again. As you exhale, you're gonna slowly come up, holding your core strong, stacking each vertebra slowly, one at a time, 
until you come to a standing posture. And from here, we're gonna send our shoulders in some nice, lovely rolls, sending them to the back of the room here. So really rolling through those shoulders. You might be tight here from feeding your baby, from pregnancy, uh, ruining your center of gravity. So it's just nice just to get some movement through those shoulder joints. Good, lovely, we're gonna roll down again. So same again. So keeping the hamstrings nice and straight, coming down. All the way down, let your head and your shoulders hang. You can have a slight soften through the knee, so we're not locking them out. Good. Once you're there, just to let everything go floppy and breathe. So you might be able to notice that my breathing's quite audible and I would encourage you to have sort of an audible breath as well. So let's take another deep breath in. And then as we exhale, slowly rolling up. Just imagine those vertebrae stacking one on top of the other until you find that upright posture. And this time, we're gonna bring those shoulder rolls to the front. So a bit of a different movement through the shoulder joints. Nice, big rolls here. Good. Lovely. Great. From here, we're going to take it through to a side bend. bend. Everybody loves a side bend. We get this lovely stretch up through the body. So plant the feet, zipping up through the abs. And then we just send one arm up and over. So we're switched on through here. Take note of that. Slow down, think about your core engagement. Good. Going the other way. Good, and again. And as we stretch through our muscles, it's great for our physical body, but we're getting a lovely endorphin release as well. Good, going the other way again. Slowing, controlling the breathing, activates the, the positive side of our central nervous system, releasing delicious oxytocin, our hormone of calm, relaxation. Good. Once more the other way. Good, awesome. From here, we're going to think about our pelvis. So I want you to imagine your pelvis as a bucket of water. So soften the knees. So a little bit of a bend in the knees. We're going to tip the bucket forward and back. So this is called pelvic tilting. I encourage um, all the pregnant ladies that I work with to um, have this as part of their normal day. It's also great for postnatal recovery. So you get mobility through the pelvis, but you're also activating the transverse abdominus, so uh, one of our deep core muscles. So if I stand to the side, you can see here, so bucket of water, we send the bottom back, water would slosh forwards, and then we tuck that tailbone under and water would slosh out the back, and we just move and tilt one way and the other. So you feel a little bit silly doing this, but it is really great uh, for your pelvis. Good. So moving from one to the next. Okay, keep it going. So you send it forwards and back one more time. Good. And now I want you to bring that pelvis so it sits somewhere in the middle. So your bucket would be nice and balanced. The water wouldn't be falling out anywhere. That would be your neutral pelvis. And our body likes neutral pelvis. So when you're washing up, pushing the push chair, anything like that, try and think, oh, what's my pelvis doing? Check in with the body. Having a neutral pelvis is great for your pelvic floor and everything. So looking for a neutral pelvis is a really positive thing to do. 
Okay, we're going to do some pelvic rotations again. So thinking about mobility through our pelvis. So we're going to send the bum back right round, bringing it forward. Some lovely big circles. So this should feel pretty good in your lower back. So as you're moving around, getting a lovely stretch. You can feel, I can feel a stretch up through my hamstrings as well. So doing some lovely big circles. So we're going one way. Good, lovely. We're going to bring it up through centre and then take the circles the other way. Good. So I put my hands on my hips and it almost just indicates to me what my pelvic bones are doing. You can feel it. You can feel this lovely rotation through those joints. Good. A couple more. Two. And one brings us back through centre. One final um, stretch for our pelvis. So you can see my feet there. We're going to invert the feet, so turning them in, okay? We're going to take our arms out in front and have them in a supine position so our hands are facing up um, as if we're carrying some plates, okay? So we're going to send the bum back and really pushing away with the fingertips, sending the bum to the, the back of the room. You should feel an awesome stretch, almost up through the legs, slightly innermost, and then um, through the pelvis as well. So ensure that you're breathing. Good, come up, drive the pelvis forward, and then send it back again. So try and have a nice neutral neck. So you're looking down and slightly in front. Good, coming up. Drive the hips forward, you're going to go down one more time. Send it back. Good, amazing. Then coming up through centre. Lovely. We're going to do some abdominal breathing now. So again, great through pregnancy, great postnatally, and we never underestimate um, the power of breath um, in any of the classes that I teach, whether it's hypnobirthing, uh, active mama, mum and baby, whatever it is, um, I talk about breathing quite a lot. So breath is so important. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take in a deep breath and as we breathe in, we're gonna expand the lungs and the abdomen, okay? So really filling up. And then as we exhale, we're gonna draw the tummy muscles in. So you can draw them in from a lower, perspective and then you can draw them in from the top as well so if I show you here through my abdominals okay so big breath in expand and then as we exhale we're pulling in okay so that was kind of a central um, draw of those abdominals so breathing in and then a bit of a focus on the lower ones pulling them up from the lower okay so let's go together, I'll stand from the side. So breathing in, fully expand, and then exhale, pull in those abs in. Good, fill up again. And exhale, drawing in, good. Good, so we're gonna do two more, play with it sort of consider which muscles am I activating here? Absolutely no harm um, to your baby if you're doing this while you're pregnant. So you're breathing in and then exhale, drawing those abdominals in. Learn how to engage those muscles. Good, amazing. So bring that sort of breathing technique into your day-to-day -day life. Um, great for the pelvic floor. Um, yeah, so many positives to learning how to, to control your breath. Okay, let's get some, some heat going through. So we're gonna roll down um, onto the floor and find an all fours posture, okay? So nice and slowly, gonna come down. Good, bring the hands out and then coming down um, to the floor. So you want to find a nice foundation here. So plant your hands. So um, your fingertips are spread wide, shoulders, elbows, uh, wrists, all in good alignment. We're gonna lift the knees and then send the bum up to 
downward facing dog. So a yoga posture, I'm not a yoga teacher, not pretending to be, um, but so many benefits uh, to this posture. So here, um, we hold it strong, it doesn't need to be static, um, there's no aim to uh, find your heels meeting the floor, mine don't, um, that's not the aim of downward dog. You can have this uh, as a moving posture by pedalling those legs. So that'll increase your stretch through your hamstrings, okay? So sending energy down and through your hands as well will give you a lovely stretch through the upper body. Uh, and also, I just find it makes me feel quite powerful as well, just really pushing the ground away. Good. Lovely. Dropping the knees, just release for a second. So next we're gonna come up, um, find downward dog again, um, and then we are gonna bring that through into a uh, strong front lunge, okay? So hands, wrists, lift the knees, send that bum up and away, okay? So we're gonna start with our right leg, sending it up into the sky. First of all, just bring the knee up and through, send it back up into the sky, and then step forward, okay? So we find this lovely, powerful posture. If you're pregnant, knackered, uh, your fitness isn't quite there, we can drop the knee here. We don't need to have that knee hovering, entirely up to you. I'm gonna to continue to hover. I'm gonna lift my hands up, she says, hold the core strong, reaching up to the sky, drop the shoulders, and just hold this lovely, powerful position. So check in, make sure your knees are not creeping over your toes. And we're just in this lovely front lunge position. We breathe, in and exhale. Breathing in, and exhale. Good, one final breath in. And as you exhale, rain your hands back down to the floor. Good, and we're gonna set the legs back very briefly into plank, and then we're gonna set our bottoms back up to downward dog. Good. Lovely. Same again, left leg, sending it up to the sky. So try and keep everything in good alignment, have that pelvic in, pelvis in good alignment, plant the hands, bring the knee through first. Good. Feel strong, powerful. Use your breath, big breath in. And then exhale, step through. So you've got choices. Keep the knee elevated or drop up to you. We're gonna come up, find this amazing position. So we're zipped up through the core. So you might be feeling a little bit of heat here. That's good. Deep breath in. Exhale. Another deep breath in. Exhale. Rain those hands down. Send in the body back to a plank very briefly. Good, and then from here, we're gonna send up downward dog. Good, just hold it, pedaling those legs just a little bit longer. Good job. Good, from here bring the knees to the floor. Send the knees a little bit wide. Bring your toes to make contact. Bring the arms out in front. Sink your head to the floor. finding ourselves into uh, an extended child's pose here. Okay, when you're in this posture, to increase the stretch through your upper body, you can just raise your hands, so they're almost like little claws digging into the carpet or the mat, wherever you are. And just allow yourself to work through three deep breaths in that posture. So breathe in, 
and exhale. Breathing in and exhale. Good, taking one more big breath in and exhale. Good, slowly coming up and out of that posture. Okay, from here, we're gonna come into um, an all fours position, okay? So we're gonna do um, a little bit of pelvic work um, in this posture. So we're gonna do some cat and cow stretching. So this allows you to get some pelvic tilting um, as we did standing up, um, but in an all fours position, okay? So a nice neutral neck, hands planted, wrists, elbows, shoulders stacked. We're gonna start by sending the spine up to the sky, tucking the chin, and then as you exhale, send the tummy down. Feel that lovely mobility through your spine, through your pelvis. And then you just move from one to the other. And as we did in Downward Dog, really put some pressure through your hands, energy out into the ground. So you do that through your hands and through the tops of your feet. Good, a couple more here. Last one, spine to the ceiling. And then exhale. Good, lovely from here, coming into um, a kneeling posture. We're gonna work through some side bends again here. So planting one hand, sending it up, and over. Good. Lovely. So remember, keep zipped up through the core. Keep it nice and tuned in with your breath. your last one. Okay, the final group of stretches will find us lying down um, on the floor. Okay, so we're going to work through some uh, bridge here. So when we do um, glute bridge we want to incorporate pelvic tilt again. You're like oh my goodness she's so boring with her pelvic tilting but it's so great. It um, encourages an activation of some of our deep core muscles. So when we do the bridge, we should imprint the spine before we rise up. So if you can see here, there's some space beneath. So what we want to do is close that space and rotate and come up that way and then lower down. Before we rise again, imprint the spine again. So let's work through 10 of those together. So relax your upper body, slot your shoulders underneath, okay? Are we ready? So imprint the spine, peeling up, big squeeze of the glutes, and lowering down. So we don't need to over-exaggerate the bridge posture, just coming up, imprint, lovely. Try and find a nice straight line and lowering down. So we're controlling the raise and controlling the lower. Good. Good, I'm gonna do two more like this. So lowering down in print. Good. Lowering down. In print. Good, and lowering down. Okay, so this time I want to come up 
and hold yourself in a static bridge posture, okay? And from here, I want you to tune in with your pelvic floor, okay? So we're holding strong, pelvic is in good alignment, everything's nice and straight. From here, we're gonna squeeze up and in with our pelvic floor and release. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Two more, big squeeze. So you're pulling in from the back and then the front. Squeeze. And final squeeze. And release. I find doing perfect floor in the bridge position, you can really feel the activation of that. Um, if you're struggling with pelvic floor, um, we can certainly look at that um, at another point with another video, how to activate the pelvic floor. Okay, from here we're gonna do some pelvic opening. So all we're gonna do is sink the leg to one side and then raise, sink and raise. So we're just sending the leg out to the side, feeling opening through the pelvis and lifting back through center. So the other way, and up through center, good. Awesome. Good. Couple more. Sending it one way. And the other way. Fabulous. Through centre. Okay, from here, hug your knees in. So we hug in here. And we're just going to draw some circles round. This will release the glutes. Bit of a massage for the lower back, so we go one way. And then the other way. Awesome. Lovely, plant the feet on the floor. Okay, so we're slowly gonna come up, just for seated, just for a little bit longer. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is give ourselves a hug. So we're going to give ourselves a hug and then we're going to go into a, a nice guided uh, relaxation which I'm hoping is just going to release any remaining tension that you might um, have remaining and just make you feel great, uh, ready to carry on whether um, you've got a busy day ahead or you're off to sleep in a second. Um, whatever it is, I'm just hoping that all of this combined is just going to make you feel a little bit more human again. So let's go back to giving ourselves a hug. Sounds a little bit peculiar, but um, when we hug somebody, we get a release of oxytocin. I've mentioned that hormone already um, during the session. We can actually promote the same release of that calming um, hormone by giving ourselves a hug. So I've opted a cross-legged position here. So all you do is take your arms around and hold on to your back body, okay? So we're gonna keep breathing here and give ourselves a lovely squeeze. If you feel comfortable, close your eyes and just focus in on your breath. Squeeze in a little bit tighter. Two final deep breaths here. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. And exhale. Good, release that hug. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you from here uh, to make your way down um, into a lying down position. Um, you'll find that some music will start shortly um, and then I will begin to read a script. Um, and we're gonna work through a progressive muscle relaxation with today's stretch class. So I'm gonna be asking you to um, bring some tension through your muscles and then release them, okay? So as we do that, we should never be creating tension to a point where it's gonna cause a strain. It's just an engagement, a strong engagement, and then a release. So if you're pregnant, it would be advisable to remain seated, maybe sit against a wall, 
or if you would like to lie down, find yourself in a nice um, curled up position, maybe on your left side. But for everybody else, I find um, doing the progressive muscle relaxation, it's really helpful to be in a um, position where you're laying on your back. Um, it just makes it that slightly a uh, bit easier to get, get um, each of the muscle groups um, tense and then release. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, uh, please check in uh, with the rest of my videos. Uh, please comment, like and subscribe to my channel and share if you know of anybody else who you think might have benefited from today's session. Enjoy the relaxation. Rest gently and easily. I encourage you, where possible, to listen to this relaxation lying down. Allow the surface beneath you to take your weight. Feel free to shift your body and move until you find a comfortable posture where you can be still. Take a moment to notice your breathing. Place one hand on your abdomen and one on your chest. Begin to deepen your breath. Inhale slowly through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. As you take long, deep, and nourishing breaths in, you feel your chest and abdomen rise and expand. As you exhale, you release air slowly with control. Exhalation naturally longer than inhalation. As you feel your chest full, you feel tension begin to melt away from your body. As you continue to breathe in this way, value this time that you are allowing yourself. Never underestimate the power of deep breathing to provide clarity, energy and positivity. Life-giving oxygen flowing through your body a release of oxytocin, providing a sense of calm and peace. If you are comfortable doing so, allow your eyes to close. Feel your eyelids settle. A feeling of softness, as if you were asleep. But if you'd rather, and it feels more relaxing to you, Simply soften your gaze. Allow your breathing to settle. Finding a soothing, natural and gentle rhythm. You are already feeling calmer and more tranquil. A sense of relief at acknowledging your need to be still. We are now going to work through a progressive muscle relaxation. As I speak, I will ask you to draw attention to individual areas of your body. I will ask that you tense these areas and then release them. The tension should be strong, but not to a point where you feel strain. Let's first begin with our feet. Take a moment to notice them. Your ankles, your heels, your toes. Begin to create tension in the muscles by curling your toes and curling the arches of your feet. Holding here for a few moments as you continue to breathe.
Now release your feet. Let all that tension go. Allow your ankles to let go as your feet flop and relax independently. Moving now to the muscles of your lower legs. We can create tension in calves by flexing and extending the feet. When you find a strong muscle contraction, hold it. Holding the tension here for a few moments. And release. Notice how it feels to let go of tension. We continue to work up your body. We can tense the muscles of our thighs and bums by imagining that we are zipping our legs tightly together. This will create quite an intense feeling of muscle activity. It may spread up into our lower back. Zip up those legs. Hold that muscle tension firmly. Holding it strong here. Take notice. It is amazing how many people carry tension in this area of their body. Take a breath in here, and as you breathe out, release the contraction. On letting these powerful muscles go, you will notice how profound the feeling of relaxation is. Let go, release. Allow your body to rest calm and supported. Take a moment here before we move on. Now we take this progressive muscle relaxation up into our abdomen. To create tension here, Simply engage your core muscles powerfully. Using exhalation, draw your tummy button back towards your spine. Imagine a corset firmly placed around your waist. And now release. We are now going to focus on our arms. Starting with our hands. Firstly, spreading our hands as widely as part as possible. Feel tension in each finger, spreading out across the palms of our hands. Hold the tension, breathe. and now relax your hands, noticing again how it feels. Continuing to work with our hands, make fists. Clench your fists as tightly as you can. Keep holding, keep breathing. Keep holding, keep breathing. And now release. To acknowledge tension in the remainder of your arms, I would like you to tense and bend the arm at the elbow, as if doing a bicep curl, or demonstrating the appearance of your bicep muscle. You may again clench at the fist as you create this tension in the arm. Keep holding, keep tensing, 
noticing how this tension makes you feel. Take a big breath in here and as you exhale, let go. Release the tension. I would now like you to draw attention to your shoulders. Firstly, bringing your shoulder blades together, creating tension across the upper back. Draw the shoulder blades back and together. Another intense sensation. Holding it firmly, holding it strongly, and now release. Allow your shoulders to relax. It is likely that this area will still feel as though it's holding stress and pent up energy. To try to resolve this, Let's draw our shoulders up toward our ears, really exaggerating the tension that so many of us carry in our shoulders and neck. Take in another deep, full breath in here. Drawing the shoulders up, holding the tension. And now exhale. Allow your shoulders to sink back down. Really focus in on how it feels to let this area of your body relax. Finally, we are going to pay attention to our face and head. An area again that so many of us will hold unnaturally tight. I find the best way to achieve a release of muscles in the face is to really screw your face up tightly. Your eyes, your nose, your mouth. It is likely that this feels a bit silly, but give it a try. Really screw up your face, holding it here. Notice how this tension affects your forehead your temples, and even your ears. As we continue to hold, I'd like you now to push your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Allow your breathing to remain rhythmical. Holding just a little longer. And now release. Let your jaw hang loose. Let your tongue release naturally in your mouth. Feel a lightness spread outwards over your forehead. A smoothness to the bridge of your nose. We have now completed our progressive muscle relaxation. I now want you to lie still Allow yourself to feel completely supported by the surface beneath you. Feel free to let go of all your weight. You have learned today what it feels like to take some control of your body. Noticing where you hold tension and how amazing it feels to let it go. Each time you take part in this relaxation, you will find it easier and easier to soften, relax and release. Stay still a little longer before slowly opening your eyes and bringing awareness back to your body.